start that recording and start that stream. Would you guys rather me have Ladies and gentlemen, me welcome to Horsin' Around, a dumbass cast. I'm your host as always, Nick Bergadante, and with me today I have four, three lovely guests if you'd like to introduce yourselves. Hi guys, my name is Colin. Hi, I'm coach of the Kansas City Chiefs, Andy Reid. <laughs> it's me, Tom Brady. All retired. So, I like, saw that shit, dude. Who the fuck's he gonna kiss now? <laughs> Tom, he's Tom, not retiring you... from being a father. What the well, fuck? Well, no, that's what, that's what he's doing. That's what the you know how they say like, oh, they're going back home to spend more time with the family. It, it's oh, gonna shit. be like Tom Brady's retiring so he can spend more time kissing his son on the lips. Yeah. yeah. So, Tom, right. Tom, when you when you kiss your son on the lips, is there tongue or like have you not progressed to that stage? Yes. Of fucking course, oh, there's okay. tongue. Have you seen? Have you seen? I used to be one of those yes, people. Yes, I've seen like, the pictures. Who you know, has it's it? A, it's a, it's a little like weird, but like whatever, it's fine. And then I saw it happen yeah. on TV, mm -hmm. and I was like, no, that's it's, like it's too weird. much passion in a kiss. For the longest time, I was the same way. I was like, no way, that's not. That's a, he's he's just kissing his son. That's what everybody does that. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's, like, it's I, pretty I weird. Being yeah. like, like my oh, he also like, kisses his kiss dad on the lips. Oh, it's well, generational. Oh, that a lot. Yeah. Okay. There's a little bit of generational mouth smooching between family members here. That's all right. Yeah. Is this like a thing I just wasn't aware of? I mean, no, it's a re it's a, a regressive gene, so you know it's very <laughs> rare for it to pop up. <laughs> <laughs> you need the right chromosomes. Yeah. <laughs> Specifically, an extra one. Um, oh, whoa, Nick, I didn't make that oh, joke. Whoa. That joke is fucking inappropriate, yeah. Nicholas. That's what actually not okay. There are, there are people whose lives are destroyed by this, Nick. <laughs> Thank you, Colin. Appreciate the info. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to laugh when I'm uncomfortable. I'm sorry. No, I can't, can't believe... I can't... Can you share your experience? I can't yeah, believe Nick I, uh... was like, I'm going to turn on the stream and collectively destroy everyone's fucking <laughs> reputations. <laughs> I know we do that on a regular basis on this podcast, but like, most of that time it was us being like, haha, I think capitalism is bad and we should destroy the system. Mm -hmm. uh, rather than like, Nick says like a slur on screen. That even though he's done it before. That was not a slur! All right? Colin, can just Funny. fucking Could say be. the arsenal or whatever he wants and it's fine. Like, this is nowhere... It's not really how that one works, Nick. Oh my god. I, I can mean... say any slur right now. <laughs> I have so much power over you. You can say all of them. You can say all of them yeah. at once, in a row. And then oh yeah, and then it'll be, it, it'll be, um... It'll be, you have to run a Fourier transform on the audio to get either, <laughs> any of them out. <laughs> Of it's a of secret. Slurs. Oh my god. Anyways, right. You guys yeah. see Smiling Friends yet, by the way? Uh, yeah. Oh my god. It's a that fucking... shit is probably the funniest show that's come out in a while. We were. So really? I, I've, I've seen it. I like, really think so. I, I like it a lot. I've seen it twice now. I, I don't. Okay. I, I would say, just, just to get my opinion off, off the table, is that I already am a huge fan of like the humor that Zach Adell puts out. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm like, biased skits online. So I was already set up to be having a good time, mm -hmm. and then it delivered on every aspect of that. And I think Jasheen put it best when he said that it's just, or well, Jacob, was it you that said the Newgrounds kids have just gotten TV yes. shows now? Yeah, yeah, I think yes. it was you. So yeah, <laughs> it's that's literally and what it is. I think from Jack's expression on his face, he's gonna be much more negative. <laughs> yeah. But a lot funnier after I got really fucking high. Yes. Yeah, no. Oh, you, you mean like an adult swim show? Mind. You mean yeah. like <laughs> how adult swim shows? I, I don't know, know what I expected. Design? But I, I know I said this before. It really feels like something that would be on fucking interdimensional cable for women wearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The fucking the shrimp episode is so funny. I think me. it's my. I think it's my favorite episode. I either that or the MIP one with the, the yes. Frodo. Uh, okay, that one was pretty funny. Yeah, that one yeah. was pretty. Good. Re well, my favorite joke is when the witch is cutting up the onion, and they're like, "Wow, she's pretty good at that." That's pretty. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah, that I think the top... somebody did the fucking math on the optimal way to cut an onion. <laughs> yeah, dude, the, you got to go radial. If you go like up and yeah. down, you're gonna get really uneven chunks. I don't get why people do that. Exactly. Uh, um, but yeah, I like. I, I like sorry. Yeah, 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 no, you go. You go. I never said my piece. I I like smiling friends, but it is the same thing where I'm like, it's what I said. The Newgrounds kids grew up. And I didn't spend that much time on Newgrounds growing up. Yeah. 
Yeah. And so I, I'm like, this is pretty funny. And then there are people out there who are like, this is the exact type of comedy that has been <laughs> programmed for me. People, people. Yeah. And it's right. And they're right. Like, Not in a bad way. Not in yeah. a bad way. I they... like eating steak. Sorry. I watched The Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> They've been cooking this up, you know, for they've been building yeah. they've built their community over the last two decades, you know, on Newgrounds, and now it's just yeah. ready for them to receive it in prime time television. So it's you know, the perfect time for it to come out. Um I I don't know why. When 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 Zach does any of of his I'm fucking sure is great, Jack. Like his fucking Voices. screams. Like yeah. when, like Dude, when, the, in the shrimp oh, episode. My beautiful grandson! <laughs> No, but like when, yeah, when shrimp so when shrimp is uh doing the weightlifting and then he drops the fucking yeah. bar on his head. <laughs> that shit. And when he's me. exposed to the sun. Yes, yeah. Let's get some light in here. Ah! <laughs> gets me That's every so fucking time. Um. So yeah, I I would recommend it if you can find it or watch it on on their website. Uh, so I bought it on show. Amazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get. Oh, it's on Prime. That's yeah. Good. Watch it. Um, paying money oh speaking actually uh, i'm supporting is... local creators uh but speaking Jeff, of... can you take my 20 dollars and pass it along to the smiling tree friends the smiling yeah. friends crew <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah no problem puts it yeah. into spaceship instead <laughs> like a boss yeah but it's a penis puts... spaceship spaceship so you got to consider that you know that's, mm. that's I, like, I, I, I know he's not on jacob he's a I man know, of the people i know we've had this conversation <laughs> before or maybe i've had it with other friends so much that i just jolly probably together. Both. probably but both. it's so funny how like rich people just have like i understand in order to be that wealthy you have to have zero taste but like wealthy <laughs> people just have zero fucking taste <laughs> whatsoever it's yeah, he so should have gone funny. for the full ten gallons. You know, he really should have like gone not, up and beyond. You shouldn't wear light colored cowboy hats in general as a rule. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't look good. We're fucking. We're just some northeastern this white isn't, boys this isn't policing of cowboy culture now. I'm genuinely saying I don't think they look good. Okay. And there are people that agree with me. The are one time it does. The hats? one time it. Sorry, go. Yeah. Go, go, go. Cowboy, I like cowboy hats. I bought like two of them from 7 Eleven with Saucer's credit card once. That yeah, makes sense, actually. I <laughs> traded for a cowboy hat. <laughs> I, I traded beer for a pink cowboy hat at a bar once. Ooh, that sounds like a good deal. deal. That it sounds was like a, a really good deal. Like, you probably we didn't had, even. We had a lot of it probably wasn't even good deal. It hats. wasn't even good beer that you had to trade. It was probably some fucking Miller Lite or some bullshit, and then you just got to have it. was whatever shit, Potter, or. Yeah. So there you go. Perfect. Easy. I think it was, I think it was PBR actually. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, you, you can't trade, trade away the pibber. No, what you can trade fuck? away the pibber. Jack hates the we, working we have class. A whole fucking tube of beer. <laughs> I love beer tube, dude. Oh my god. Um, I I did want to say that now you brought up the the Daddy Bezos bucks going towards TV shows on Amazon. Uh, the fucking I, Critical Role TV show came out the other day. Oh yeah, I should have I should have oh, known Nick was care. gonna bring up a topic I that wasn't was, on I, the I'm fucking gonna stick topic on it. list. I know you guys don't watch Critical Role, but no, I never talk about the topic. Why does anyone put anything on the topic list? Also, Nick. A I anyway, literally you forgot. About the okay, Role okay TV Jacob, show? I forgot, and then you talking Wait, about where's fucking. The topic list? Can I edit it's this? in the channel description yeah. for the horse and rancher. Oh, okay. Colin, you have editor rights to it. You've had oh. access to this from the beginning. That's oh, true. that's right. Yeah, hang on. Um, uh, it doesn't files. matter because Nick and I approve anything anyone adds. But... Yeah. Uh, I gotta yeah. find the article about white colored cowboy hats. The, uh, the fucking the show's good. It's a little the animation feels a little bit rushed sometimes, but the fight scenes were paid the most attention to, and it shows, and it's good. Uh, obviously, the people who voice these characters for like five years uh, know what they're doing with those characters, and it's I think it's pretty good. They're they're kind of uh, they had to get everything off the ground pretty quickly, so things are kind of uh, the characters aren't as in depth as you know they were when the campaign started, but that was because they had already been doing it for over a year off camera. Um, I don't so want to say something like... that's going to come off as rude, Nick, but it does sound to me like you're giving me the same pitch that uh, you and other people have given of Rooster Teeth shows for the last five <laughs> years for me. 
I, well, okay, I like Rooster No, Shida, it's, so I swear, I, they're putting it together! It's, it's a work in progress! This is how art is made! Sure, yeah, hey. fine. That's that's fair. I, I don't know what else to tell you, but I, I no, do. No, I, look, I, 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 should, I shouldn't make that comparison because I've been more interested in Vox Machina more than any Rooster Teeth show I've ever seen, check so... I've been, I've been meaning to check that out. What? Rooster Teeth or Vox Machina? No, Vox no. Machina. Uh, okay. I mean, the first three episodes just dropped on Prime Video, and I think they're pretty good. So, that's all I wanted like, to say about that. I'm at least interested Ew. in it. The problem is, is, I'm afraid I'm going to have the same reaction to that show as I had with Tell every me. Critical Role piece of media, where I go, everyone's so fucking gaga about Critical Role. <laughs> I, my fucking roommates, I've like, been watching it all, all this fucking semester. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> like, it's, it's one of those things where I go, I... I I'm going to piece it together this time. Yeah. I'm going to piece it together. I'm going to watch a couple episodes and I'm going to piece it together. And it's finally going to click. And by the time I'm like a few episodes in, I'm like, I'm so exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. No, it's a lot. I And I mean, I think that this is, this would be a much more digestible way of experiencing the show. Uh, you know, because it's animated and it's cut. Yeah, I, that's honestly, why I'm the, almost the interested in it. That I personally do not enjoy about Critical Role like the live streams is that i am not interested in the combat portions it's much more interesting when they're doing the role play stuff for me and when they get into combat it's just like yep they've got hp the enemy's got hp they're all gonna use their fancy abilities to try to whittle down the other side's hp and stuff's gonna happen when things get to low hp territory then i start paying more attention but in the show obviously they're just animating those into quicker fight scenes and i liked watching those more than i like listening to wait you're telling me that dungeons and dragons combat mechanics might be a tad bit boring dude well, doesn't like combat happen over the course of like 10 milliseconds it, every, like, all every yeah. round of combat one round is six, six seconds, seconds I think. yes yeah so, so, uh, so 10 like, rounds I, is a like minute six hours for me right yeah so i mean I, well i shouldn't just say that about DD because that's a problem with most yeah it doesn't really <laughs> scale in a logical oh. way yeah but, I, I but also, the, it's it's foolish to apply a hard and fast rule to something like that right. it's me a my general roommates. assumption of how long a round takes but yeah um, me and my roommates whenever we get high we play this other uh it's like a um index card rpg called lasers and feelings Ooh, that's and heard like of you only... lesbians? i think it's similar to that yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have I heard of that? <laughs> wait, I, yeah, I, I, wait, yeah, I have heard of Call of Lesbians. Oh, it, yeah, we want to play that one too. <laughs> um, oh god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but you, it, you only have you, oh, yeah. like your character sheet is like plays, yeah. yeah, your character sheet's only one index card, and you just have a number from yeah. zero to six, mm -hmm. and that there's like you're better at lasers or better at feelings, and it's so much fun when you're high because you don't have to think about anything. You're just like, I do this, and then I do that, and it's funny, and I do this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, fun. um, yeah. I mean, a, a friend, uh, back in yeah, high school, it's a like, one page RPG. put me into, like, a campaign of Carnage type situation, where it's D it's very much d d light, and you kind of just, like, the, the DM's just playing fast and loose with everything, the players are just like, I want to do this, and the DM's just like, roll a d20, see what happens, and that's literally everything, there's no, like, stats or whatever, you're just in funny scenarios, um... Anyways, I, I put car lesbians in the horse around chat if anybody wants to gotta, gotta <laughs> look into that later. Right. Um, I, I've, I've, I, I do have a, I, I have a tabletop related story. Sure. If you okay. guys, so they recently dropped. The, well, they're they're starting to release the Power Rangers RPG. Yo. Tabletop RPG. Uh, don't worry, Jack. Your face is a lot <laughs> more in line with what you should be feeling. <laughs> And oh. what they did was, is that for classes, they broke it out into color schemes rather than occupations. What, like, you, I'm blue? Yes. And, and, and so... Then, and then somebody... <laughs> yes, and so... Well, hold on, Nick, it gets better. You already know where this story is going. I know where but it gets going. even I'm better. I want to be white. So, there's the entire set. And then there's another set called Advanced Classes. Mm-hmm. And oh. in that, it, there's only one, and it's the White Ranger. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Boy, howdy. Zooey. Zooey, mama. It's, it, 
it was genuinely something I had to check for myself to make sure if it was real. And it was. It was No, that, I mean, wow. yeah, in in the TV show, the White Ranger is, like, the super powerful one or whatever, but, man, that He's doesn't read good. Him out. But also, they could also, well, that, that also depends on the show. Because, like, sometimes That's there's, true. like, a, sometimes, yeah. sometimes, like sometimes fucking Green, Green Ranger is a little special. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, Red Ranger, the leader, is the one who's the most special. Yeah. Like, just give them That's roles the and then let people to. choose whichever Power Ranger they want to be. Yeah. Can you make Color a scheme in the role-playing game? Make a what? Make a Zord, sort of, they're called. Mega Zord. Oh, probably. I, I'd assume so. Yeah. I, got kind of ca- yeah. I kind of got caught up and then kind of stopped reading after I read the advanced <laughs> Ooh, class. That's really pretty. Yeah. Uh, related to that, the... the not, I don't know if you can do Zords and Power Rangers, but there is a Transformers role-playing game that you can pick that, up. That's being made by the same company, I think. Uh, I think it's coming out. I still haven't heard anything new about the... And they're doing a G.I. Joe one as well. So. Is, are they also doing the Avatar role-playing game, or is that... I don't... I think it's all Hasbro-related properties. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. RPGs are uh, definitely blowing up, and, I mean, good for them. Yeah. You know, more, more, more power to them. Always down to see more RPGs. Uh, they can work well. But, um, yeah. What was I gonna say? Speaking of, oh. like, um, uh, what's up? I was just gonna say before we get off the D and D topic, I was gonna say that I think combat in D and D can be fun for the players as far as like figuring out oh what abilities no. I can use to work here and there. Combat in D and D can be fun in the min maxing. But yes. yeah, but I like, but expl- the same way that, like playing when, Magic: The Gathering is fun. Exactly. I want to like, set up a I, fucking I, I, ridiculous encounter that will chain all of my abilities into doing a thousand damage. Exactly. Yeah. When you For get me, combat levels. combat is fun in terms of the narrative structure of the combat itself, mm. and I think that's I think that's a problem that a lot of I'm gonna sound so fucking pretentious. Like, eh, well, it's if, too late if, for if that. only more D, <laughs> if only more DMs took lit crit fucking classes in fucking college maybe they figured out that your combat should reflect the narrative structure you're trying to tell wow, uh Jacob. you're so cool but like if it's just you bash <laughs> the thing like look i've done that because i've been a dm where i'm like fuck i don't want to come up with a fucking encounter for these people they barely <laughs> show up as it is and then i make like i don't know here's some like 10 gnolls for you guys to fight fight the gnolls hell like, yeah this will entertain you and I love gnolls. I, I fight them all day long. <laughs> I don't know. D- you're right. I'm being a little too hard on D and D combat. Also, D and D combat is like D and D as a system is designed in such a way that there is a reason is the most popular tabletop RPG. Yeah. Five E especially. Five mm-hmm. E was literally like them being like, "What if D and D was just like the tabletop RPG again?" And someone went, "What do you mean by that?" And then they released it for a long time, and it were we made it fun. Yeah. What if? Yeah. So this is uh, yeah. more close to board games in general than yeah. um, <clears throat> RPGs, but my roommate brought back this game from Winter Break called Poetry for Neanderthals. I yeah. fucking love that game. Isn't it so fucking fun? Smashing so, people with a fucking inflatable bat. Yeah, so it, you get an inflatable like club like a caveman would use. Oh my and god. And you, you pick a card and it's like charades, but you it's, can't it's make taboo. any motions. It's what? It's taboo. I've never heard of that. It's the same game. Uh, oh, okay. it's You're not supposed to say the name to... of the game, Jag. That's part of the game. Oh. <laughs> um, it's fight club. You, ha- you, can o- you have to get your partner to figure out what word you, you- is on your card only using one-syllable words. Uh, I should have assumed up. it was uh, from the Exploding Kittens company. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they put out a lot up, of games. They, to, they um, churn out a lot of stuff. Yeah. Death. But this is actually pretty fun. Yeah, I th- I think it's the best game they've put out. Are these the same I... people that made the fucking weird ass game with the inflatable taco? Yes. That... Mm-hmm. Okay. It's the burrito. My, oh, the burrito. my fucking Sorry. burrito. Yeah. My my family basically buys these games and just plays with the deck. Mm. Um, like well, instead of actually playing the game structure, we just fucking look at the cards. <laughs> I love playing with the deck. It's okay, well, probably I my favorite. Really part walked of... right into that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's not your fault, Jack. You're always walking into my deck. So, yeah. it's an interesting uh, idea that I'm wondering if we're gonna see a lot more of in the next couple of years of these simple card games that then Island are augmented game. by a giant inflatable item to pass around and throw at people. Because have I you think ever watched it's such a simple addition, but it, it makes it like twice as good? Right. Yeah. I, 
I know none of us have watched it at like cable in a long time. Yeah. But like if you were ever on a kids channel for the last like 30 years on cable, that's like 90% of the adverts. Oh, is really? that being like Well, no, it's like I mean like if you remember from our childhood watching cable, yeah. it was the same shit. They'd just be like yeah. Here's a fucking game. Like, we would never consider yeah. it, like... Yeah, but all of our games... Like, like, the, the like, natural, low-cost evolution of, like, fucking mousetrap or whatever. Right. Yeah. yeah. Where, where oh, the, the yeah. whole selling point was uh, this okay, overly yeah. complex... Right. The, 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 the thing is that these games... Life-size mousetrap. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, those games when we were kids were so... They were overtuned and hyper specific so that it's literally you could only play this one game with it whereas these games it's just like you can take the two halves of it the inflatable item part of it away from the cards or vice versa and then you still have an inflatable bat that you could just hit people with or a card game that you can play card you know play a card game with so you know? that game where you have the fucking elephant trunk with the butterflies that's, in it i was literally thinking up. elephant the elephant. That game. elephant it's, the elephant is just yeah elephant the elephant rock works I the guess? same way that's what i'm saying yeah that's what i'm saying nick is you still have the elephant well yeah but what nick is saying is that the pieces of fucking poetry for nanothals are theoretically usable outside the context of the game exactly like you so could... i used to blow my leaves with elephant the elephant what the fuck do you want okay to i don't think a lot of people were doing that with their elephant jacob i feel like not my fault they're not case crazy. there um no my i, fucking... I think I don't, I don't really agree with you nick i don't think that... yeah <laughs> you know what what do you know I, I i think that practically there's no use anyone has for inflatable fucking club outside of the context of the game. I mean, I, re I just remember people took the inflatable burrito to Welcome Back last fall, and we were just throwing it at each other. I don't think people were playing the playing whatever game was associated with the fucking inflatable burrito with that game. They just wanted so an inflatable you're burrito, me and it was fine. is that when I bring Elephant on the Elephant to Welcome Back? Uh-huh. Gonna get tossed in the fucking lake. That's, oh shit, that Jack! You beat me to my happen. joke. You beat me to my joke, you <laughs> bastard. Um, yeah. I'm gonna formalize it in my head, and I was like, "This is gonna be so funny." I'm gonna throw <laughs> it in the lake. It, organization's gonna get destroyed. I'm gonna laugh. Oh fuck. I'm gonna be that. honest. Once like none of my friends are involved with CSH, I'm taking them out. You're taking what out? The burrito? The, the lake? Org. The no. org. Oh, the org. No, the org is CSH. <laughs> Just end it all. Just fucking. I mean, slack, slack only serves to cause me mental anguish. <laughs> Colin, if 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 it would cause a conflict, if it wouldn't cause a conflict of interest, I would probably pay you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, I'm trying to think of what what stupid like overly specific games I had as a kid that would fall in the same category. I I like, like the one where fun. you have the the polar bear on ice. Yeah, that game sucks so much. It's I, that, it doesn't suck. I mean, I mean, it's. I was, <laughs> is that the one where you have the little cubes on a board saying. that can yeah. fall through to the bottom? You tap and the little and you tap the arrow. Arrow. Okay, I do yeah. remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think that was, was pretty cool. There was a whole like, like series that. of games that were under that same like company yeah. branding. I don't remember what that group was, but yeah, I, I remember what you're talking about. Um, I think there was one game I had where it's something, it was something like you had to hang these like little plastic animal figurines onto a rotating like yeah, jungle I know what you're talking gym about. thingy that went around in a circle. And it was, there was basically no, it, it was like the amount of skill or like participation as like, uh, Candy or uh, Candyland or like fucking shoots and ladders. Like yeah, there's no, I, I, I'm not, you just this threw this something on and hope it stuck. But it was super entertaining for me as a kid and also super. super I remember niche. there being a whole run of games that were functionally the same as Jenga, mm -hmm. um, where it was like keep doing this thing until one person fucks up. Yeah. yeah do, do you remember the one way it was like you, you get a pie, a pie in your face. If you oh my up. god! Oh yeah! Yeah, I, I know also, what you're talking about. There's also the the fucking crocodile teeth fucking one. Toilet themed one. Yeah. The crocodile oh, teeth one where you the, press down the teeth like, and then like yeah. you chop down on you. Did somebody try yeah. to augment that with like fucking with knives? With yeah. Knives or or like pins or whatever. What yeah. Fuck? 
Fucking Do you remember the one where you had a giant log and you had to, you had there were like eight billion sticks going through the log? Yes. And you had like that's what I was thinking out. of. Yeah. And you had to like not make all the marbles fall through. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you had is like you're trying to pick out the straws without making marbles fall, like creating a hole yeah. basically to let the marbles yeah. fall through. What was that? Oh man, it's not pick up sticks, but it's basically using no. the tools of pick up sticks to oh, make I, another I, I, game. There was a game where we got pixie sticks and we would just dump them on the floor and then we have to put the sugar back into the pixie sticks tube. I think you're just fucking with us now. Fuck? You, and you guys didn't play that? No, Colin, fuck you. Oh, it definitely this shit sounds up. real. No, it doesn't. But... No, it fucking it does, doesn't. It does. I don't. No, the strategy would, would be we would get like a piece of cardstock and roll it into a funnel and then like snow shovel it uh, off the floor. I don't believe you. I'm gonna Google Pixie Sticks game, and it's called Pixie Stick Pickup. Pixie Pickup Six. Hold on. Wait, if this is real, I no. Okay, no, 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 no. This is no, but this is the this is the fucking just Pickup Sticks game that I was thinking of. But there uh-huh. yeah, is it's called is Pixie Pickup, pickup sticks. sticks. Okay, fuck you, Colin. I knew you were fucking with us. <laughs> God damn. Oh, it. a game I would actually play. Is I would try to get an entire bag of fun dip to stick to one stick <laughs> at one time, and I was never ever successful. I was so it was one of the grossest fucking things. Yeah, I've no done. shit, Colin. I, like, I, I would, I would, I would like wet the pixie stick, dump, dick it, dump it in, and then wet the thing more, and it'd be like this gooey. <laughs> Colin, at that keep point, going until it was like, you just stop oh, talking. <laughs> Colin, why did you just you why did you just dump all the dip in water and then stick the stick in that? Wait, because then it wasn't stuck to the stick. You had to go in layers like a cast iron. He's got a point. <laughs> like a cast iron. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> I really want to look, like I'm imagining That's that now. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> oh god. All right. Um I, there there's a topic on this list that I that I we haven't we haven't gotten around to yet or if we have we've only briefly touched on it but I I want Wait, to you mean uh, 90% of the podcast yeah, on Yeah, all right. Can we stop like the just shitting on me for this? All right. This we're just putting things on there to take out as we go along, all right? If we don't get no, to we're it, not. Then the back of the list I, 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 I take them out in my free time. There you go. All right. <laughs> I want to talk about the black painting. Specifically, which black painting is your favorite one? All right? Oh, I like the one that's all black. Shut the fuck I, up. I agree with Colin. I, I have no fucking clue what the black Okay, painting I am called. posting a link to the Wikipedia page in chat. The the TLDR, and I think we, we have covered this before, so I'm going to keep it a TLDR, is... You know the fucking yeah, Saturn devouring his son painting that yeah, Jack loves oh, so much? Yeah, wait, I love these. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I don't think it's in frame. So the hey, guy... This, this one's the best one. Hang the on, guy hang on, that hang on. made that made a bunch of paintings oh, yeah. on the walls of his house before he died, yeah. and the they're all extremely... That is a good one fucked up and kind of... Well, they're all really depressing. Yeah. yeah. Wait, have you guys seen um, the, um, the fuck Zedinsky, whatchamacallit? Like, the nightmare artist shit on YouTube? No. Uh, hang on. Let me... Uh, I keep talking about this while I... Uh, yeah, just I'm just looking through these now. I mean, I feel like it's, it's kind of hard not to put Saturn devouring his son up top, because it is arguably the most, like, just fucking raw and it's fucked up certainly... image. The most classic. I don't think it's the rawest or most fucked up. As which which yeah. one do you think is the most fucked up? I oh, I don't know about most fucked up. I think Witch's Sabbath is my favorite. Um, is that the one Witch's that Sabbath Colin is posted? Pretty good. That's no. This is two uh, old men eating. Uh, yeah, two old yeah, men. Yeah, no. Eating I love two old men eating. Th- that's Witch's Sabbath on. Okay, wait, wait. which one? What? Sorry, this one. It's the one with the devil, the goat. The goat. Not bad. Oh, this one. Next. The one with the, yeah, yes. okay. This does not help that the stream is 30 seconds long. Yeah, but. yeah. But I see what you're saying. It's to protect uh, Nick from stream snipers when he's doing the podcast. <laughs> Definitely um, not just how Twitch works in general, but yeah. I think Pilgrimage to San Asidro is maybe the most fucked up because you have all the faces in the, not really in the foreground. Ooh, yeah, no, you're right. I, I uh, don't like it. It's fucking creepy, uh, but uh, I think it's really good. Is this the one the one with the guy that, with the guitar in the front? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, all the faces and all the images are just, 
like so like this fucking hold on let me zoom in on this uh this guy's face in the center right here is really fucking me up personally um and yeah and they have a lot of them are like that so yeah i they're, they're all the extremely fate. troubling the though. last one i think though if i had to pick there's, there's a really interesting like progression through his life um from like his tenure as court painter which is generally kind of positive kind of classically like mm -hmm. i 1700s 1800s art of royalty and shit um and then he fucking goes deaf uh, moves to the countryside and basically goes fucking insane and paints all over the walls of his house That's and dies yeah yeah you know yeah. Um, but one that, um, one that I really like that isn't uh, one of the black paintings is his self-portrait with Dr. Arietta, uh, which I linked in chat. Oh, yeah. Is that, oh, him? Yeah, I, I is like that, that him with the graying hair and that's the doctor next to him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like this um, a lot, yeah. It's, it's from, like, right before he was uh, estimated to have done most of the black paintings. Mm -hmm. Um. And I, I think the, the going from that to the black paintings is kind of fucking terrifying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, the the descent is, like, really tragic. Um, yeah, he was really not doing well. Yeah. Um, physically and mentally. Right. This fucking <sighs> Agony in the Garden I, painting is pretty weird and fucked. I love that one. Jesus would be I like, yo, what do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Um, yeah, they're, 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 I mean, but yeah, they're all, it, they all, in the progression, it's a story on its own. Like, e obviously each painting has a little bit of a story, but like, you know, the progression of, from these classical paintings to these more fucked up ones. Are, if like, you were to convert each painting into, let's say, some sort of equivalent, like, a number of words, what number of words sort of like do you think? token that, that might not be able to be funged. Um... Mm. No, not that. Never <laughs> that. <laughs> Only villains do talking. that. Yeah. Um there's a, a he has a series of lithographs from Ooh. I kinda like Fantastic Vision. About I a like decade prior. Uh titled titled The Disasters of War. And they're similarly uh casually kind of horrifying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like a sense of melancholy with all of these like things are fucked, but they're also except for Saturn devouring his son, that's pretty straightforward, Ooh. just fucked um but there's like a sense of melancholy especially with the colors and everything yeah it's it's a time and it's not definitely... have said melancholy i think some of some of them feel very paranoid i yeah i guess i i don't know i i get the sense of melancholy just because like it's not like any except for like a, in a few instances where I, I think it's pretty much just sad and devouring his son but like most of the people in these photos like even if they have out of the ordinary expressions it's like they're all doing it together and it's kind of it gives me the sense of it just being i don't know just a somewhat average occurrence or something mm. they expected to happen mm -hmm. um yeah hey, I, I, I see that yeah That's but very uh very interesting paintings um from francisco goya they're, and they're there's good. i they're mean very... we we joke about the saturn devouring his son and all of its permutations which is great but there's a lot of other interesting hard art behind that so yes i i have seen them in person they're fucking weird that's scary. Have you guys seen the movie Velvet Buzzsaw? Because it's like very. I've heard of it. It's kind of goofy, but like this artist does the same thing. Like he paints all these pictures in it, like in his house in secret, oh. and then just dies. But the artist's name is Deez, and the whole movie they're like, "Oh my god, it's a Deez," and it's unwatchable. Deez I can't fucking nuts. get through it. Yeah, that's uh, that's what modern culture does does to pieces yeah. of art like that. It just ruins it. It does have John Malkovich in it. Parents is a part. And the V Diggs. And Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal is a pretty good character in that, I think. And Billy Magnuson. I uh, Jake Gyllenhaal is like uncomfortably good at paying, playing fucking creepy characters. Tony Collette's yeah. in this movie. What the fuck? 
I don't like it. I still need to watch Renew Nightcrawler. Racing. That's Jake Gyllenhaal, right? Yeah, Nightcrawler yeah, is fantastic. That. Nightcrawler, yeah. very good. Yeah, let me get back around to it. Uh, these. Billy uh -huh. Magnuson was. Oh, he was in No Time to Die. Oh, Colin. I, it's, I, I'm glad you're on because I, I put this topic in almost exclusively just to hear your response to it. Uh, Elden oh, Ring. Curious. Elden Ring is almost oh! out. So. <laughs> Elden Ring. I can't fucking wait, dude. I, <laughs> it's like my... It's like this is the only thing I've been looking forward to for like weeks. No, I know. I, I can imagine. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a less than a month away now. I know. Fucking crazy! It's are gonna you, be so good. What are you? What are you most looking forward to? Like, what, what um, features about I think it I'm, are exciting you the most? I'm gonna be honest. I have kept myself as much in the dark about it as possible, okay. so I don't know a lot of the actual like concrete features. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited to see how the um, gameplay of like the Souls like games translates into an open world because yeah. I think a really big a part of the Souls like genre so far has been like the map and level design and, like enemy placement and I'm not sure how they're going to translate that to the open world I mean, but I I would, I would almost go to consider like s most of the Soulsborne games to be kind of open world like they're they're massive like yes they are a series of corridors Back but like they the... still are so many of them that like it kind of feels open world especially in like dark souls where you can go like you could take either of those paths either up or down to the two balls would... and all that shit yeah like... i think i would ha i think it's not open world as much as it is branching if that makes okay. sense yeah yeah cuz like i think open world implies like you can go wherever at any point that you want but like mm -hmm. in dark souls there's very clear like maybe not to the players first um playthrough but like after playing through it a bunch of times so they, they're very yeah they, they guide you into certain right, paths yeah. it's like level one level two but it's still linear yeah, yeah. yeah nick, exactly. nick nick is talking about open world in a pre-skyrim context uh <laughs> I see, let's yeah. get our <laughs> video game history correct yeah. oh my god um yeah remember the I, days when you looked at that mountain over there and you couldn't just go to it and now you can yeah, I, I still have never wow. played Skyrim. You what? Well, that's no, kind of nuts, honestly. I, okay, I let me correct that. I made it to White Run. Okay, that's fine. You played Skyrim. You played yeah. Skyrim. Uh, it's... My problem is I I am like, what if there's a secret behind this rock? Oh, what if there's something behind this rock? And I like, and it took me like twelve hours to get to White okay. Run. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's I mean that's honestly that's kind again, of the, game, the very right? genuine yeah. Skyrim experience. Like a lot of people probably are in similar shoes as you I've, right? I've never completed the main story yeah i simply don't it's okay I, the main story in skyrim is bad well yeah, yeah like i did beat it at some point i don't remember it like it fucking sucked compared to all the other cooler storylines going on bro it's yeah. a fucking dark brotherhood i, I would cooler. rather know more about the fucking village in the north yeah my skyrim main story rewrite is that when you're about to get executed uh, the executioner yeah, says the game was yeah. rigged from the start and then actually cuts off your head and then you <laughs> wake up after being pulled out of your grave. Just your head pulled out of your grave. That's the yeah, only part. And you're in the Mojave Desert and, uh, <laughs> oh wait, shit. Yeah, hey, whoa. <laughs> that would actually, that would be a really, that's a fucking great meme idea, is that you yes, getting your head so chopped funny. off and then waking up inside of the old dude's fucking, like tavern space or whatever be like man you took a took a real doozy there huh oh man oh, when benny thing. says uh, sorry for taking this guy in conversation to jacob fawns over fallout new vegas because yeah, I mean, this is such a contrarian game. take no hey, one else, else out me, there <laughs> have has said i think fallout new vegas is a good game mm -hmm. uh but i do genuinely still get excited every time i play that game and benny says the game was rigged from the start and he fucking shoots you at the start of it i'm just like i'm fucking ready boys Woo! <laughs> yeah. I need to go back and play more of that game because I think I went through it kind of quickly. Like I only, I only ended up meeting one companion. Uh, I think Arcade Ganon, and like, and then I just used him through to the finale. Um, and he was fine. I didn't know it was possible to only get Arcade Ganon. I was so. Apparently, I I missed the dude that was the sniper at the dinosaur. Boone, yeah, yeah. Boone is like him. the one I feel like everyone gets. So that's yeah. why I'm kind of surprised you only got one know. companion and then i went to uh i went to the place with all the super mutants uh the the resort 
house or yes. whatever. And I think there's another companion you can get there. Yes. who's a super mutant, but I missed them as yes. well. So. Well, she's technically a night walker. Oh right. Crawler. Yes. Yeah. 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 Nightcrawler. Yeah. Sorry, we were talking about nightcrawlers. Call them sex workers. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, Thank you. this is hold on. Uh, I do my best, Nick. I know you do. Yeah. Um, let's see. Jacob, I see that oh, you. Oh, Night Stalker. Hold on. Uh, sorry, I, Jack said he wanted to. F oh wait, where? Oh, this is a. Jack, no, you just deleted the thought. topic I was looking at. You fucking piece of shit. Did. did you actually delete my topic? <laughs> this is just like real life. <laughs> Jacob, how are the Matrix movies? Oh, no, it's right here. What the fuck are you talking about, Nick? What are you, oh, dumb? He fucking, he fucking undid it, all right? He yes, fucking undid Nick. the delete. How hey, those Matrix it? movies are pretty good. Yeah. People, told, people keep saying Matrix 2 and 3 are bad, but I think they're bad. That's my counterpoint. Get fucking destroyed. You I'm think now the people that say the movies are bad are bad? Yeah. I think it's hilarious when you watch Matrix 4 and Lana Wachowski goes, I don't think you guys got it. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, that's hilarious, Lana. I love you. Well, that's, uh, did you did you go and end up seeing that Red Letter Media review that they did? Um, I did. I, I After watching it, I did watch it, even though I kind of disagree with them because the, then they're like, the Matrix sequels were like, they were pretending to be so smart and they were like, ah, you don't get it. And it's like, no, I mean the Matrix sequels are pretty they're pretty straightforward with a lot of their messages about capitalism and so, control and what it means to have power and how one misinterprets power as like the ability to cause harm to other people when in actuality it's the ability to choose. And you're like, wow, that's really cool. Uh and then in Matrix 4, they literally have people who are known as bots and they uh are mindless <laughs> zombies because they don't, don't have choice and like complacency. And I'm like, mm, yeah, I think. Like. Yeah, I yeah, I got the impression that four was very over the head with with its like, both both its like messaging and also the fact that Lana Wachowski was just like, look, I didn't really want to make this movie the way the studios wanted to, but they were like, hey, we're just gonna make this without you if 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 you don't make this movie, and so she was like. All right, I guess I'll make it, but I'm gonna fucking rib y'all. No, whole but but Lana time. had an actual idea though. Like, yeah, they, her idea they did. Was, but yeah, sorry. She, she was like, Matrix Four is about how making another Matrix <laughs> is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. I had to make a fourth one of these because you guys couldn't piece the first three together. What the fuck? I'll admit it. I'll admit it. It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Um, I... It's, uh, uh, have you seen... Uh, hold on. Do you care about... Who cares about spoilers for The Matrix 4? There's is one... There's... Matrix, the new one? Yeah, yes. this is the new one. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I've seen it. I've seen it. Okay, okay. you've seen it? I don't yeah. care. Nick, have, you don't care? I don't care. I, don't know. I just gone. want the, the fucking little bird guy to be in real life. I love him. <laughs> What's the little bird guy? I'm trying to the remember. The bird robot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, all the robots are fucking adorable. I love them yeah, all. They're yeah. my children. They're so cute. They After watching the first three Matrixes where they're fighting the robots, and in Matrix 4, all the robots and humans are friends now. Well, not all of them, but, like, the robots and humans are friends now. I'm just like, oh, I love my robot friends. <laughs> uh, but uh, there's a hilarious joke mm -hmm. in The Matrix 4. Yeah. Where Neo is a game designer, yeah, because he's, mm -hmm. he's blue pilled, uh, <laughs> because he fucking hates his life and can't be with Trinity and is depressed, mm -hmm. uh, and his life has no meaning, uh, and in a very textually important scene that awaken that red pills another character, it's revealed that red pills a different character in the narrative. Mm -hmm. Neo accepts a game award and then right at, at the after party tries to throw himself off a roof. And it's yeah, so funny. I, it's, so, <laughs> it's so funny. He literally just like in front of everybody holding like the game award, like the <laughs> actual real life statue, like with the wings and everything. Just oh, steps off the roof. Like, like it is modeled to be oh, like Jeff Keighley's the game awards game award. No, no, it's, it's it, not it, just it, a it, model it, to be. It is, it the, is a like game award. Thing. 
<laughs> Jeff Keighley. Jeff Keighley literally said, "I'm so proud that we were represented in the this." And I was talking with a friend yeah. afterward, and he was like, "I don't think Jeff knew what they were using the game award <laughs> yeah. in the movie for." <laughs> the entire joke is Neo is a, the most. Neo is the most one of the most successful game developers of all time mm -hmm. and has made one of the most popular franchise games of all time. And the entire point of that, because it's supposed to be reflective of Lana herself to some extent, is Neo is fucking miserable. He fucking hates his life. He accepts the game award and wants to throw himself off a yeah. cliff because it's th like the worst fucking thing. Oh my god. No. And, Jeff, and fucking Jeff's like, whoa, I love it. <laughs> Like, I mean, there is something to be said that it's nice that they even got that kind of representation in the movie at all, even if it's used as a narrative what? device to describe how this fucking can't awful be the it real is. plot. Apparently, it is. Whose Ma game award do you think they used for that scene? Oh God! The fuck like, you. what game do you think won that game award? Uh, per Twitter, it's the one from the fucking Matrix video game. Oh, okay. hilarious! Shit. That's very good. I was um, hoping it would have been like Peggle Two. It's so, <laughs> it's so, it's so. The the movie is genuinely hilarious, and I've just thought about like the reason I added it to the list is because I watched it Thursday night. Yeah, you watched it, and I've thought night. about it every day since then. Yeah. <laughs> well, so we're like a new thing. A new thing will come up, and I'm like, ah, the Matrix Four really is about that, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, it is about yeah. that as well. To, but I to to bring it back around to the to your your disagreements with Red Letter Media and how the messaging you thought was was more uh, pretty out pretty front and center as opposed to obfuscated I by mean, like terminology and stuff. So there was so I haven't seen the movie, so I'm curious yes. to see what your take is on because I the one thing I do know is from either two or three there is the scene with. I think it's the architect in that white yes, room the architect, with all the that's cameras, in two. where he talks oh for like God. ten to twenty well, minutes. Well, straight. also, 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 JK... the architect is Neil Patrick Harris in this one. Yes, in this one, right. the architect is Neil Patrick Which is Harris. Fucking crazy! It's so funny. <laughs> but it's in the original so... version, I'm wondering, Matrix... like, was that? So Do you think funny. that was done well? Because I feel like a lot of people didn't like that scene in the original. What the architect scene? Yeah. Well, the problem is that people are like, the architect scene is kind of dumb, and I'm like, the architect scene is. Like, fine, it's not my favorite scene, but that's because it's outshone by the shit I like more and people I feel like like less, which is the Zion shit where they're in the human city and not in the Matrix doing fun Matrix stuff. Mm -hmm. Lana Wachowski literally goes like, guys, the Matrix isn't real. The point of the Matrix was to get out of it. You're not supposed to be like, dude, the Matrix is so cool. I wish I could go in there and eat steak. And you're like, Lana's like, no. No, you you guys, <laughs> you guys, you it's messed up. The metaverse now. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. It's but so funny we... watching the. It's so funny watching the, the original Matrix it? movies because I I after watching all three, I literally messaged my friend. I was like, man, it's so funny watching someone make the perfect encapsulation of 2021, uh, 2022, and they made this movie in two thousand and three. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, I'm gonna need to interject right here um i looked up neil patrick harris the matrix on yeah um google images and i found yeah. a fancy pants article about his home this is his stairway at his house let me see this shit. let me see it let me see it post it in chat post it post talk in... post talk post talk post -talk. Yeah, what the fuck this is neil patrick harris's house yeah this <laughs> i mean i gotta be I honest would, with you this i would rather would die something. yeah that oh a rich my person God. would have their house look, look like. At this. What is the hole? <laughs> look at in this. The... He has taxidermy monkeys. Wait, yeah, hold on. His... <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, that one's kind of that one's kind of neat. We we gotta it's talk neat, about but... the hole in the stairwell. What's going on in there? Check it's out. Oh my God, I didn't even shit. notice that. What is? Why this? does it look like that? Why is there a hole in the stairwell? Why? Why look at this painting. Look at this painting in this one. Oh Jesus Who Christ! Who is that? I, I kind of like... Oh, no, I know what that painting is. What is that? That that painting is from the Haunted Mansion. The what? I, in in Walt Disney World, That's that painting is from the Haunted Mansion. Oh! oh, that's pretty cool. oh that's yeah, I like pretty that cute. actually. Um, oh, yeah! I, we fucking saw that at Disney World. It's like one of yeah. those long extendo things where it starts out as just like, a, uh, like the top half of them, and then it, like... As the room descends or whatever, you see more of the painting, and then it's like, oh, that's how they died. They were standing on a fucking barrel of dynamite. Um, that's really cute. 
The oh, fucking if if I were to like specifically the bar pa the bar photograph looks like it's ready to start except for the okay except for the monkeys the monkeys are fucking weird. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, 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 the monkeys are the best thing. And for everything else about this picture looks like it's ready to start a fucking like holiday lifetime holiday yeah. movie shoot. You know, like you I did the this room does not mesh with the fucking shitty metal stairway outside yeah, the look, windows. I agree. Also, look at this dog. It looks photoshopped in. <laughs> <laughs> like, the dog's just chilling, really right? Does. Well, everyone looks photoshopped <laughs> in in this photo. Wait, no. That dog, like, the shadowing behind it, especially, yeah. looks... They, they both look like that, though. I, I guess I, I think so. this is just a photoshopped image. I, I mean, you gotta respect. Look at how you have to respect. <laughs> That's a great look. <laughs> Who the fuck is gonna tell Neil Patrick Harris no, right? Like, yeah. nobody's gonna stop him. It's his husband, probably. Yeah, I mean... He, his husband still. should've. <laughs> I don't know if they should've. I, I, I gotta agree with Jacob here. This, this is a fucking rocking outfit. Yeah, Especially, it fucking rules. This is, this is the perfect outfit for this type of movie as well. Like, come on. Oh, they have a yeah. Duckmacker collection. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that. Holy shit. You know what? Good good for Neil. Ha happy. Honestly, talk about living their best life. Yeah. Yeah, for real. They're probably having a good time. They're having a great time. If I had that much money, I would probably also collect Nutcrackers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. I, I have another spoiler for Matrix. I don't know if either of you care. Right. Jack, I was I, talking about I Matrix know. earlier, so I don't... I don't I... give a shit. Okay. Uh... <laughs> So Trinity's name in Matrix Four is Tiff because they're not they don't oh, appear yeah. as themselves. So A, that's already a joke on a Tiff file, but she is married to a guy who is literally named Chad. This is no <laughs> joke. Yeah. It's the yeah. funniest fucking oh, shit. Yeah. It's yeah, this, so... that, that movie from the Red Letter Media View review sounded very understanding of the current meme culture and just the in jokes this is what i'm talking about it's so insane lana wachowski is one of the few felt like well I, I, and the wachowskis when they made uh the original matrices ma matrixes well they were uh, ahead of their time with the original matrices and now but I, that's what i'm, that's what I'm like saying to. is that every time they put out a movie like that you're like how do you how, how are you how do you just know you just <laughs> You're yeah. you're someone who knows the they did that shit with uh, Speed Racer too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. The Speed uh, Racer movie is probably one of the best movies of all time. I still need to watch it, but I've I've heard amazing. Things I remember when it came out. It is like unironically a crazy good movie. It's a fucking it, fever dream. <laughs> like yeah. that's it's that it, a fever sounds dream. more correct. Call it, you know what? You know what I heard is a fun take uh What's comparing it? Speed Racer and uh Sick cars. Sick cars. Uh, Matrix Four. <sighs> okay. Uh, Speed Racer is a movie where the Wachowskis were like, "See, art can defeat corporatism." <laughs> uh, and uh, Matrix Four is them being like, "Okay, we couldn't defeat corporatism, but yeah. I'm gonna go take, I'm gonna take my best friends Neo and Trinity, and we're gonna play over here. They're, they're and gonna, you guys gonna, can I'm fuck gonna make off. Them yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna. That, that, that's literally what happens. Yeah. <laughs> 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 guys i Jack no i know you don't, I remember. you don't understand they no, okay, say so... they say warner brothers is paying for the fourth matrix in the fourth matrix movie yes 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 and yes so that literally they like, happens they like, what they, they, oh neil God. patrick harris says it cost us t twice as much and took twice as long to re bring you guys back and i'm like i can't fucking <laughs> So Sorry, Colin. You were gonna say something. No, I, don't know I was if gonna I say that, that like the architect literally yeah. just puts them in the matrix and like, like dangles them in front of each other, and it's like, oh, okay, what if they kiss today? You, the <laughs> the guys, the new matrix is literally powered by love. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. love between Trinity and Neo is what powers you the matrix. Oh, that was the other thing. No, uh, no, no, no. It's like, no, no like, 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 none of our uh, other batteries have ever performed this well. And, like, Neo and Trinity are both in, like, tubes at the top floor of their generator building in, like, cushy, like, little seats. What the fuck? It's literally the power of love. It fucking I rules can't believe that they so ripped hard. off fucking Monsters Inc. Where they, they were like, hey, we're. Fuck our, you. I was going to say fucking... Monsters Inc. 
Exactly. It's literally that. It's like, oh, our Scream Factory. We we make we make money off of screams, and the comparison is that Neo and Trinity can't be together because they fucking break everything. But then they were like, wait, actually, Neo and Trinity together, good, makes our Matrix run real good. Okay, yes. now we do this full time. I like did th how... I did think about Monsters Inc. But then also, what if Monsters Inc. was like a metaphor for like fucking Twitter? Because uh, another reason uh, <laughs> the, the, the well I know, movies that were ahead of their time i know well literally in this in this new version of the matrix it, so the old version of the matrix very cash in the the 90s because it's literally like we made an imperfect world and this new one is we made an imperfect world but we made an imperfect world where everyone's emotions are incredibly heightened all the time and we feed off of their emotions mm -hmm. to generate the power yeah. rather than just like their neural electricity like we feed off we forcing their brains to have more synapsing fire and i'm like oh you mean like, like you Twitter. mean like algorithm you mean like how yeah. social media i got you alana don't worry i got you <laughs> uh anyway at the end of the movie literally the personification of that tells neo and trinity that no one wants to see their stupid kissy be nice scene because no one gives a shit about sentimentality anymore and then trinity and then they, just like kicks his head off yeah, they kick his head off and then go, well, we can't really get rid of you because that's kind of impossible. But uh, yeah, we don't really care. We're going to go make like rainbows in the sky or some shit. And then they fly off and then like hold each other's rainbows hands. Here, yeah. And I'm like, yes. 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 Yeah, I gotta, I gotta yes. be honest, Jacob. You're selling me. You're selling me on it. I, I should probably go and fucking watch so... these movies. You, you, know, what's, you know what's hilarious about... Uh, the matrix four though while i was watching it i was like i kind of wish i had the 20 year time lapse between watching the original matrix movies yeah. and this one <laughs> you think it would be it, more impactful it would be even i it would be even more potent of like mm, mama. <laughs> yeah trying to bring it back and it's like yeah fucking Oh man, I don't actually know Nick, if I. You, you've watched Scream Five, right? I, I was, I was literally just thinking about Scream Five. I was just about to say. I... Well, it's if yeah. You... It's Scream Five, but it's Matrix. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, so very good. You know how Scream Five was like, man, isn't fandom awful? They're literally the worst. They're Nazis on forums, and I go, yeah, you're right, Scream Five. And then I watch the Matrix, and the Matrix goes. Isn't Phantom the worst? They're literally mindless zombies about a movie that is literally telling you don't be a mindless zombie. And then uh, some other character comes on screen. I was like, I didn't even like the Matrix movies. I, I just want all. I, I the only thing I want is dumb action. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, there's a scene in Matrix Four about that. I forgot about that. There's like there's, a game dev conference, and they're like, people don't want to see Matrix being about. They want to see people fucking fighting, and then the other guy's like, no. Colin, it's worse than My that. It's check. it's not just a conference. <laughs> it's the pitch meetings for yeah, the Matrix no, Four right. in the in the movie Matrix Four. <laughs> I forgot about that. You're right. That is that like that is single handedly the most brilliant thing that Lana did for the setup of that movie where she, where she's just like what if we just made it so that in the Matrix there is a video game called the Matrix and this is gonna be the fourth one and they're talking about how they need to make up some new fucking ideas for this new Matrix game and it could just Matrix... all be commentary about the fourth movie inside the fourth movie. <laughs> The Matrix Four, I would classify as an autobiography. At some point. <laughs> like genuinely, yeah. That's genuinely, a, a I would. I would. It. I was watching with my friend who had seen it before, and I would pause it. And I'd be like, "You understand that this is a hundred percent happening in real life to her, right?" Yeah. She, there's a hundred percent. She was sitting somewhere, and someone said this to her, mm -hmm. and she was like, "Thank you. I'm gonna put this in the movie now." <laughs> uh, it's so. Oh, it's so funny. So do you like? I... <laughs> It, with, with with that in Scream Five, I I I'm curious what you guys thoughts on like the idea that maybe we're finally getting around to directors and writers and studios in general just coming to a general understanding of how to not fuck up like a legacy like comeback movie because no do you know the movie for you Nick yeah. Halloween Kills I liked Halloween Kills <laughs> that's the Probably problem Jack. <laughs> You know, Jack does bring up a good point by saying, fuck you, you're wrong. That's an argument I really <laughs> like. I don't want to talk about Halloween Kills for the fifth time. We're not gonna. But... We're not gonna. But I'm just saying, yeah. like, it seems like there have been a decent yourself. number of, of 
what I what they call in Scream Five requels, uh, which I think is a funny way of putting it, um, that I think have been pretty decent, if not like just straight up good. Like I mean, even before all that shit, fucking Blade Runner twenty forty nine was pretty good. Uh, yeah, but that was like that, that was Denise being himself. Right, but not, still, like it, it still like took, it still thing. understood the source material and built off of it in an interesting way, which I think is the same yeah. thing can be it's said like about the Matrix Dawn Resurrections. Ho- uh, and you you have yeah. to you have Nick, you have to understand. Yes. Uh, uh, guess what? A rusty ass fucking revolver is gonna hit a target one out of ten times. That's uh, eventually you fire the gun enough, and eventually it's gonna fucking hit the target. Yeah. Just because it hit the target it's a three times. Is system. A... Well, I'm just trying yeah. to like. All right, so what are what are bad requels that have come out in the same <laughs> number? Train of your years? Jurassic Street. World, oh. RoboCop. All right, uh, Ro- was RoboCop before 2049? I thought that was yeah, like. Uh, yes, it, it was before 2049. I think. Okay. I'm yeah, but I'm, sure, I'm yeah. saying like we we are getting closer to just more of good ones coming out than bad ones. Like I, like obviously yes, there oh, were many fucking, bad. Fucking Kingsman too. Kingsman 2 sucked dick. Okay, but that was just a sequel. Yeah, That's not a requel. Uh, like, that was just yeah. a straight-up sequel that, that, that is sucked just bad on its you're own You're right, you're right, you're right, yeah. Um, um, Jurassic World, I enjoyed it, but I understand it's very much just fucking corporate shit, so that, yeah, that's fair. Jurassic um, World bad? Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I don't know. Rock. Well, I, I like the ball scene. The ball scene where he goes into the water. That was good. I like that. See, scene. I like the scene where the little girl goes, they're just like me, and then releases the d- dinosaurs upon the planet. And I go, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. So yeah. fucking mad. Oh, that was so stupid. Oh, my God. Shut the... Literally, Jurassic World is the movie that it, Jurassic World is the movie that Lana Wachowski is making fun of in the Matrix. Yeah, <laughs> but the fucking T Rex and the Velociraptor tag team WWE style wrestle the Indominus Rex into the fucking pool with the I goddamn like the Matrix water for the monster. Action. I, when they got too deep in the weeds, that's when Look, it started going wrong. I'm not wrong. saying it's not <laughs> dumb action, but I'm saying it's fun, all right? And it, you can't deny me that. It was fucking Nick, just, fun. You know what? Nick, just say you want to eat the steak, Nick. Just say you want Just say you want steak. I want to eat the steak where the Velociraptor and the T-Rex team up to he, fight he the fucking the Indominus, steak. all right? This is fine. I'm not going to blame any... Additionally... The Matrix, a lot of it is about not blaming some people for wanting to eat the steak. Because there's going to be plenty of people who want to eat the steak. But also, The Matrix is about how eating the steak is the bad option. Dude, I, I like, <laughs> yeah. don't want to eat the steak until I take my pills in the morning. And then I'm like, mm, steak smells good. Steak. Look, I, I, I just feel very strong that I need to defend myself about Jurassic World. Because, like, I really love the Jurassic Park films, like, growing up. Like, that was one Me of the too. first film series where I grew up and Nick, I was like, holy shit, this shit's amazing. I'm going to get all I, the fucking merchandise or whatever. I love yeah, Jurassic you know, um, Park 3. Un- I, well, kind you're, of ironic. You're wrong. <laughs> kind, kind of ironic. You have to be a little ironic. Kind of ironic. Jurassic like, Park. Dude, but I read the books. Slightly, slightly I read the original. Top. The books are Actually, I read, I read the Do you read the second book? Yeah. yeah it's been seven. a long time, but I saw it. I read it. <laughs> the second book isn't very good. <laughs> it's, I don't remember much of it, so I, I'm inclined to agree. It's, it's, it's not great. Um, but the first like, one is classic and iconic. The second one is not. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, this, what, what were you saying, Colin? This one's a a slightly, bang. slightly um, tangent to Jurassic Park. Do any of you care about Attack on Titan spoilers? I do. Please don't spoil it. Please okay, okay. do not spoil it. I, I have not okay, caught up I'll on the show. Up, uh, I'll shut up. But okay, but no, what if is, I make... It's, it's, Sorry, go to it's, it's tangent to Jurassic Park. Well, okay. now I want to know what it is. I... All right. What, what if I make spoil. jokes I, I, about... I might, I might know what it is. Don't... <laughs> please don't Text spoil it. Text me, Jack. Text me. What if, what if I make jokes about the thematic aspects of Attack on Titan, where you go, maybe he's saying this one thing, or maybe he's saying this other really yikes thing? Oh wait, no, you kind of need <laughs> yeah. the, you kind of need the context of more for that. I got the probably. context. I got. Okay, Colin's got I, the context. I understand some of the context for the joke that you are trying to make right now, Jacob, and I I understand that the the writer has been pretty yikes in the past about stuff and i'm curious to see how it well, all that's the, that's the problem is you 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 also in the anime too you're like are they like how are they are they changing it that much like what's happening mm-hmm. i don't know but also i just i've never followed attack on titan that closely so yeah 
I followed it when they came out with the show, and I was like, oh, let me read the manga. And then I stopped at some point. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I'm waiting for the Quince movie to come out. That's about the total amount of anime I care about right now. Oh, no, movie. My Dress Up Darling. We're talking about My Dress Up Darling oh, now. Oh, my God. No, <laughs> we're, we're, we're trying to end the show now, Jacob. Fucking hold on. My Dress Up right, Darling, I, good show. There, there. I've, I've condensed we're it. We're only at a minute minutes. four. Yeah. Yeah, what? but that's that's an hour. That's how long the show goes. No, that's a minute four. That's we're in oh, the matrix. Wait, I... We're in bullet time. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Anyways, all right. Yeah. This is a good, good, good episode. Good, good topics. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, we're we're never going to talk about football again on this podcast. So don't look up Don that's Terry well, Poe. Don Terry talk, here's what's going to happen. We're not going to talk about football if the Bengals lose tomorrow. If the Bengals ads. win tomorrow, we're talking about it next week. All right. That's what's going to happen. If the Bengals lose, right, so yeah, I'll talk I, about it. I will not be lose. on next week. No, so okay. Have fun. All right. Well, I am going to be frothing at the mouth if the Bengals win this tomorrow. And you're go gonna be frothing in the mouth about something anyway. yeah that's true no matter what <laughs> <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for joining me thank you guys for watching thank uh, you for hosting yeah absolutely and until next time stay safe out there peace stay out stay frosty brothers <laughs>